Okay, this is H12B, folks, and I'll give you a map here in a little bit. But basically, we're going to watch this, and what we're looking at is what we're looking at right there. And you watch these, they basically, it looks like the uh, Walmart logo a little bit, those four yellow little notches. Anyway, they're flopping around this here. Now, this is up directly in front of the sun, and it's not the sun you're looking at. And we're going to sit here for a second and let this play. And I'll bring up the magnifier and then I'll kind of scoot it down out of the way. Bring it over here so it doesn't get your attention that much. But our object is behind this. What this is, is this is the satellite's uh, solar panel. And I slowed it down. I slowed the video down. Let me take it down in size. And this is your object you're going to be looking at. And basically, you can just watch this. This is just, it rotates around. Now, this is every two hours that it does that there. Because. Or no, 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 no. It's, that's the, I don't know how much we've seen of it there. Let me show you what I did on the, on the clock on this thing. The video I last put up showed it to you. And basically we'll go ahead and do this. And hang on, I got to take care of, well, we'll take it down to like 150. I got to take care of something real fast. And this is the shot we're at. And what I did is I slowed us down. I don't know how the hell fast we were going, but I slowed us down to this kind of speed here that it, it's flopping every two hours. You can go basically 1,001, 1,002, and that's two hours of time in the film lapse of this shot here. And basically what we do is, the first thing I went to, I couldn't get the 28th to come up on H12B. I really hadn't been caring about H12B, and I actually have footage of this thing. More than likely we can go back and see how fast this thing is moving, because uh, I had footage of H12B in a couple videos here, about six videos back. Okay, or four or five videos back, so I'll be able to pull that footage up too. And but this is from the 27th. I was able to look at the 27th to load. I've also been able to pull up the 26th, and it's farther back. And also we get somewhat of an idea of seeing it. The stars doing the flop around is, and people have been getting a hold of me in the idea that I have had a find because when you count it, it's more than. Our number of planets that we have, we have eight that we know of, and they discount Pluto. Pluto is the ninth, and if you count, this object ends up being the tenth. Now, what you're going to see as we go in here, and I got to take care of something real fast. So we go ahead and go to this, and then we'll go ahead and knock it back up. I'll, I'm going to zoom in to 777. So if you say th 1001, two hours will go by. 1001, 1001, see, two hours go by. So we're going to go up and take a look at this. And you're going to see that it's basically, you need to look at this thing as like they originally had found it when they were looking at Google. And basically when you're looking at Google, you were looking at something that either a healer viewer, I mean, uh, the actual factual, when you look at Google, when you look at Worldwide Telescope, when you used to be able to see it on infrared, if you really can still see it, we need to find the coordinates on it. But no matter what the coordinates on it, it's out in front of the sun. Because this here solar panel on this satellite is aimed at the sun. And you see the objects that rotate around this thing. And I'm just letting it here because basically we can leave it here for a little bit and you can go 1001 and that's two hours. 1002, that's four hours. And then you have to watch the clock. But that's how fast this stuff rotates around this thing. Okay? Absolutely, it's here. And when you go to A, it's what we, what I was seeing with those magnetic lines, more than likely. Because see, that, that other, you know A is the other satellite on the other side. And it's basically millions of miles apart. And we'll have that on, and I'll be able to, I'm not going to read it off. I might read it off, screw it. But anyhow, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to zoom up. I think I've got my glass, and now here we're going to go. I'm going to zoom in, and then i got to move up a little bit. At least the video shouldn't, I don't believe... This player should not stop playing. And then we'll sit here and you'll see those objects go flopping around. Now remember, every time you go, say, 1001, that's two hours of time. So that's how fast this stuff rotates around this thing. Now remember, it's huge. It's bigger than Jupiter. And you have to realize that that and the sun are a lot farther away. Okay? Now, no matter what, if this is not... I mean, this is confirmed. I mean, we're seeing this in this footage. But if no matter what, 
we may have find we might have found we found what we have found because the sun doesn't have anything that flips around it this damn fast that we know of that NASA or anything scientific has ever let us look at and see so this and it shouldn't be it can't be the sun it's too flipping small to be the sun so then I'm gonna be the discoverer that the idea that the sun is smaller than what we've always thought it to be known it to be and that's not going to happen. You know that. So this is actually there, and you can see stars rotating around it, and it's huge. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going up inside so we can get a good view at this. I'm watching this thing. Now, I'd say probably the next zoom in of watching it do its spin. And as you see, that there's four that come around at one time and do that little imprint on the front. And it's a dark object. Now, is this the absolute meatball that the astronauts always, at least that they put in the space cowboy flipping thing? Now, see, when I'm on zoom here, I can't put, use my pointer. It's not going to work worth a crap. And I want to stay away from it from blocking and doing anything with the, with the view of the video. So I'm getting it centered up over on the right-hand side a little bit. And there you see the bluish darkness, and then it goes to a a reddish on the other side. Now remember how what we always see down in front of the sun all the time? We always see that it's blue and red. Is this what we've got? So now we're going to zoom up one more zoom here. And we'll sit and watch this. And there's those four stars that come around like I say. So they rotate around something. Something that's spherical. And we see a redness coming around too now that we're bigger. Watch the red cherry come around. You see that red cherryness there? So have we found what somebody a long time ago called, called Blinky? Now the featured video of mine is the guy that somebody put on YouTube the information of Blinky and left NASA and it's NASA footage you can see the ticker on the NASA stuff so go watch that video of mine it's not my video I didn't make the damn thing somebody put it on the internet and I uploaded it so this thing is there now remember it's getting shaded by that solar panel now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out of this thing okay I'm zooming away from our object we've seen it rotate we've seen what's going on there and now I'm gonna zoom I'm gonna actually get rid of the zoom here Take that down, pull this down to, we'll just chop it all the way down to like 200. And there you go. Now, if I speed this up, this thing is going to look brighter. Okay? Now, check that out. Even as we sit there, you see the stars rotate around this. Now, you see how flipping huge that thing is? Look at Jupiter. Jupiter's flipping humongous. But look at the, our object right at the tip of that thing. And watch those stars go flopping around it you can see the stars flopping around it. Now see I can point here. You see that? And watch that star. Watch these things flip around and come around. It's going to come back around. You can even see it that flipping far away. I'm thinking that that's the red thing. And we're zoomed out. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us down to the speed down here on it and I'm going to I'm going to make it go faster and I'm going to get us I'll get us right here. I haven't been practicing too much with this, but here I'm going to go faster. So I remember I had it at 1001, and I'm just going to go real crazy here to get it going real fast. And then this thing will play as fast as it used to play, and it play even faster. And then you can figure it'll get up the brightness of the damn thing. Now check that out. I've got it going, yeah, and it's shuddering, right? And then we'll try to slow it down. But check it out how bright the damn thing is. Okay? Now just for the hell of interest of it, let's just go ahead and blow up on that thing why it's doing that fast ass crazy movement and I'm just basically I'm playing the damn thing real fast big deal I'm just speeding it up okay so we go 777 and then we'll go ahead and you know okay we'll plop up and get over to the damn thing and basically we're not on magnifier anymore so I go up on the strobe over here and basically I should be able to scoot across on this and we'll go find it shouldn't be too far and hard to find that arm again boom arm now up 
Come on, come on, come on. Video time. Here we go. So check that out. So the doggone thing's there, and I sped that up really fast, so it's just shuddering back and forth. But that thing is there, absolutely there. Okay, so, so we'll slow it down. But see right here, as I slow it down just a little bit more, I was like, wow, did we finally get the sun? Did we finally get the sun? Now you see the speed it's going at there? And then I'll just pull up the zoom thing and we'll pop it around. Now remember, I won't be able to point where the shit now if I do the zoom with this. But here we go. And then I can move this out of the way. And there it is. It's a little bit faster, running through the day. So that thing is there, and it's huge. Okay? So we get all the way out of this, and you realize how big Jupiter is, and then realize how big that thing is. Because no matter what, it's bigger than Jupiter. And it's there. It's flipping there. Absolutely flipping there. All right? So now, let's go ahead and give you a map. Okay? And let this play. Remember what I was showing you on this shot from behind? And there's a fresher shot. And now they don't even show you that side. Because if you're looking over here, you're going to end up seeing the object, remember? Now they started showing us the other side of the slide, and they're not showing us the right-hand side. So, and as you can see on the map, that's B behind. H1 tube B behind. It's this in an array. And you can see Jupiter and Earth, and they got it way back, and they got it shooting at the damn thing. So there is definitely something underneath the arm of that solar panel. And it's not the sun. It's too damn small to be the sun. And it's absolutely too big to be Jupiter. Because it's bigger than Jupiter. You can see with your own eyes. So as we go back to Sechi JavaScript right here. And we move my little magnifier. We can take and get it the heck out of the way. Okay. That object is there. And there you can see Jupiter. So they are even interested, and they got themselves zoomed back. And on the 28th, if I go to the 28th, I can't pick the damn thing up. Now let's go ahead and go to the 26th and see if we can see the damn thing. Now remember, you've got to be at H12B, okay? And then watch my other videos for seeing what you could see from the other side from the other satellites. So here's from the 26th. I hadn't noticed it, okay? Because basically I wasn't interested. I would pop in here, and I would just, I think I even did, did some footage of it. So we'll get we'll see what we get to see of the darn thing on on the on the 26 real fast. And it's a different positioning. So basically we'll freeze it and zoom in. I actually started thinking it's NASA or somebody pissed off and trying to set me up. Okay, but there you go. There's more of something, and it's underneath the solar panel. Okay, but you get to see it better on the other one. So now what we'll do is this is 777, and this is what we're looking at, folks, right here, and you can see that rotating around on the. So you can definitely see it better on the 27th. And on the 28th, they decided you can see it too darn good. So they didn't even let you see that footage. So H12B, high 12B. It's there. And it's getting, it's definitely moving this way. Now, sure, the satellite could have moved. Correct. I agree with that. Okay, the satellite could move, okay? Let's pop to like 400 real fast. See what kind of view we get on 400, and that's there. You can see it there. And you can see the star action it does there whenever position it's in there. So, we've definitely got a dramatic find. No matter what, we have got an object. And it's bigger than Jupiter, as you can see. Because it's farther away. Now, H1, this is the same thing, the other side that they wouldn't let you see, but the, all you're going to see is all the sun and everything, and you ain't going to be able to see the object. The only thing I can figure is this possibly could be it right here, and how huge it is as it's coming around. That there, we'll try to zoom in on that real fast. And basically, like I say, this is in the same position. It's B behind. It's up there, and I remember Earth's down there. Remember size. It's flipping huge. Some kind of a gas, or something that you can only see in darkness, and it sure thinks, I sure seem to think that it's that there. 
and this is in front of the sun, in front of that